Look at that. Amazing. This is unbelievable. Wow. How long has he been doing this? 15 years. Wow. What all animals does he do? Well, his specialties are deer buck. Aww. Bears. Bears are bread and butter. Wow. Eagles, turkeys. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, very cool. Uh, mermaids. Uh. And he can do any animal. What about ducks? Oh, yeah. What about beavers? Yeah. Dragons? Yep. How about a llama? A llama. Oh, sure. I tell you what, I got a great idea. What? It's Some a ice cream? hog. What? Can you imagine just a giant statue of a hog? I like it. Corey's dad invited us to watch a chainsaw artist named Dayton Scoggins carve some sculptures in his yard. Now, normally, I wouldn't be too excited about attending an art party, but when it involves chainsaws and fierce animals, I'm all in. Why would we want a hog in our yard? No, Corey, no. I'm boss hog. Willie, really? eagles are majestic. Hogs like rolling the mud. Not that I have anything against eagles, but for me, nothing beats a hog. Do you like bacon? Yes. Do you like breakfast sausage? Pork yes. tenderloin? Pork yes. chops? All that stuff comes from what you're saying is not majestic. Well, right. I'm gonna tell you something. I've never eaten an eagle, but a hog is majestic. Well, like, I'm just saying, if we had to choose another animal other than an eagle to represent our country, the hog would have been a perfect choice. And maybe we'll carve a bandana right on top of that hog. Let's think about it. Just think about it. Can you imagine how cool a hog would look on the back of a quarter? Who do I need to talk to to make that happen? Who does currency? Jim? Come on over, the sculpture's finished. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at the detail on the wings. As you can see, Dayton is the Michelangelo of chainsaw art. He is the man. Ooh, how exactly do you do that? I mean, you didn't measure anything out. You just started whacking and hacking like Leatherface. Yeah, that's about it. You know, just get a chainsaw and see what happens. Wow. I think, Willie, you ought to have one in your yard. Here's what I was thinking. Have you ever done a hog? Oh, man, I can do you a hog. <laughs> <laughs> I can do you a hog. Right. This is really beautiful, and we admire your work, but I just don't know that we need a hog. I said, do you like bacon? You said yes. I said, do you like other forms of pork? She agreed, so. Can you do something besides a boar? Sure. That work with you, Willie? Come on. Okay. Compromise. Surprise us, but I would be so surprised if I saw a hog in here. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we got a little package from the wood carver. Just about finished unpacking it. Hey, the big reveal. Ooh. I'm scared. So, kids, sometimes in life, you have a chance to do something great. I'm not sure this is one of those times. So, you've got to dream big, stay in school, and if somebody offers you something, you take it. You should consult your wife first, but. I have a feeling that you're going to love this, so. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Better than I expected. It looks good. It doesn't look anything like me. It kind of does. I never tuck my shirt in. Probably shouldn't start tucking your shirt in. <laughs> <laughs> Most surprises are good. Surprise parties, surprise engagements. Did you tell him to do this? No, I didn't do that. Is this a You're joke? the one who wanted the statue. I wanted a statue of a hog. Well, I think you got one. <laughs> <laughs> but surprise statues that make you look like you're 300 pounds? That's not good. Are you holding a hot dog? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a duck car. It's actually a really amazing piece of work. If I wanted to see what I look like as a hot air balloon. I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop it up for firewood and we're just gonna burn it in the fireplace. We could heat the house up for a week on that belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I wonder if there's a return policy on custom made wood sculptures. I'm not that fat. Are you kidding me? It's not as bad as you think. It really isn't. It looks good. If you're gonna do a wooden statue, it should be flattering. I think it's just the way he's standing and he's kind of like leaning back a little bit. Yeah, he, he is good. leaning back. I want a statue of a hog or any other animal. It's the posture. Hey. Hey. What's the deal with that mailbox? Trying to make it stand up, but to see it's a little bit wobbly. A little bit. Well, you need to get Phil to get you another one and put it in. What are y'all doing here? I called you, remember? I called you about my old aquarium. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, where is it? I think it's in the shed, silly. The crappy shed? The collector's out of order shed. When I called and asked you about it, I meant for somebody to go get it and get it out for me. Well, I ain't going out there by myself. In our family, there are no words as frightening as it's in the shed. Do you have another aquarium? No, I have bows, special bows for my turtles, but that's in my turtle collection. I'm not 
I'm getting more turtles, so I'm not giving you any of that. Mom doesn't throw anything out. Old clothes, rocking horse, clutter, put it in the shed. Throw it in the shed. In the shed. Jill, let's just go buy a new one. Come on. Are you sure it's in the shed? Yeah. Finally, for once, somebody's taking something out of the shed. Why do you keep all this crap in here, Mom? Because just like now, you need something out of I it, mean, right? I mean, who keeps paper plates in their storage container? Well, now you've just burned them off. There's like nice polo shirts. Okay, I think your hoarding has gotten worse. I'm older. Mom, you got your Mardi Gras beads in here? How'd you get all these, huh? I was looking for those. How did you get these, Mom? I want to know. Chill. You can actually buy them at a store. There's so much stuff in here that you just need to throw away. Well, maybe the phone book. Oh, boy. Yes, there's a coon. There's Girl. a coon in here. Ah. Close the door. Well, you didn't hurt it, did you? I didn't hurt it. I got out of there. He's probably starving. Look, I'm going to go get one of Dad's guns and shoot it. No, you'd mess up the whole storage house, silly. Well, I need a weapon of some sort. You could use Dad's baseball bat. Well, where is it? In the shed. Ugh. How did you cook them fish last night? So what I did, I put a little wine, mustard. How are you talking? But look, I forgot to blacken one side of them, so I cut up a bunch of lemons, and I put lemons all over Yeah, and you forgot one other thing. You didn't what? tell Chase. me. Yeah, I didn't cut it. What are y'all doing? Load this thing up. What are you waiting on? You said meet at the log cabin. I said move the big thing with the tarp on it. Yeah, there's a tarp over there. Okay, here. move this thing. Hey, we don't load nothing until we see what it is. It doesn't concern you what it is. How old what do you mean? Yeah, it does. Now I want to see what's in there. Hey. It's old. Well, then we got to take it off. There may be spiders. Don't up under take it off. Out. Uncork that sucker. No, and I just wrapped it up. Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? I see why he's got it covered up I can't now. See it. Let me just say this Willie loves Willie. Oh, <laughs> man. That is awesome. <laughs> that is incredible. The idea that Willie has commissioned a statue to be made in his likeness. It's uncomfortable, a bit nauseating, yet realistic. It takes a lot of self-confidence for a man to get a statue made of himself. I didn't have it made of myself. Hey, you know who else makes statues of himself? Hey. Saddam Hussein. I didn't make the statue. I didn't ask for this. Yeah. It's really too bad that he doesn't like the statue. It is a perfect likeness of himself. He looks like he's in trouble. I think it's because he swallowed a watermelon. That ain't no watermelon. That's a brisket. OK, y'all done here? Because you could spot this gut from the moon. It looks like one of those buttons could just pop off. All right, we got it. It actually looks like he's clearing himself for a belt. All right, I've got it. I've seen it. It's hard to capture pressure being built up, but he did it. Are y'all through yet? <laughs> Wait a minute. Look. There she goes! <laughs> In a way, Willie's midsection is a cousin to the Milky Way galaxy. There's been a lot of chocolate, a lot of nuts, and a lot of caramel orbiting this space. Listen, put this thing face down. I don't want anybody seeing the face of it, all right? We got it. Get it out of here. I got sap all over my hands. Well, y'all loaded. I ain't throwing my back out for that fat rascal. Y'all thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I love it. This is like the greatest idea we've ever had. I just think you could have found something bigger than that. Well, everything else is in the stupid shed. I like that rolling pin. You're not wearing it, are you? Ma, it's already bent. Look, this is all bent. No, that's actually valuable. All right, I'm just going to go in. Y'all ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Hey! Lock you, man. Lock me in here with this thing. I see you back there, big boy. Be careful! Oh, I got him. He's dead. Oh, man. Uh, make sure. Yeah, he's dead. Here you go. You want ah. Oh, my goodness! Yeah. Golly! Well, that's precious. It looks like it could be pretty. Who puts this? Ah. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> that raccoon need to go to Weight Watchers. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. I got the aquarium. All right, let me move this. Be careful. You don't even use this. Got ah, stuff. We're gonna get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, get you. Can... Oh! Dead gummit. Well, that's broke. Chap. I don't think this is repairable. Oh my gosh. This Chap. shed is not safe. Well, it's not now. It's a death trap in there. Okay, you know what you should do? What? Sell it online. 
online. Yeah. I used to sell a ton of kids' clothes after they grew out of them. Really? Yeah. Somebody, I'm sure, would even buy this stuff right came, because there's weirdos. Let's get a camera and start taking pictures so we can post all this stuff. All right, we can do that. All right, you guard it, Mom. Make sure everybody Watch steals the... it, Jump. OK. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step right up. For $1, you can get a picture with Willie Robertson, AKA the Whiskey Barrel. Turn around there and take a picture. Rub his belly for good luck. That's what I'm talking about. That belly's made that man a lot of money. All right, next up. There you go. Good photo. What in the world? Next. What you got going on out here? Look, this is the redneck version of that Madame Two Toes Wax Museum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm making mucho dinero here, boys. What? All right, next. Hey, everybody thinks Willie's the only business nerd in this family, but don't count me out. Here, I'll take it for you. No, hey, get back, right. get back. All right, ready on three. Three, nailed it. This statue, it's my ticket to early retirement. No photo bombing. You owe me a dollar. Huh? Here, give me a dollar. I owe you a dollar? <laughs> give me a dollar, you took a picture, clown. No freebies around here. Now all I gotta do is, okay, is keep everybody's sticky fingers off my cash cow. Pun intended. Give me my money. Hey, give me my money. Hey, I... give me that money. I got it. Give me, give me my money. Oh, give me that dollar. <laughs> the only thing that's concerned me right now is I hope them skinny little legs, okay, don't collapse under the weight of that belly. I think he's ready to go in labor, boys. Sir, si, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I told y'all to put this in the back of the hey, warehouse. Hey, I'm making money right now. I told y'all this needs to be Hold it. Go in ahead, the you warehouse. Oh, oh, look, you can't photo bomb. This needs to no, be no, no, in no, the oh, warehouse. You can't photo bomb. Look, the number one question is, is how did you swallow a whole watermelon? Guys, Willie doesn't really look like that, y'all. I mean. No, he don't look like that. Hey, look, he's way shorter. I'm standing on a log. Hey, I'm the same you're size shorter. as on a log. Look, the statue is a really impressive piece of work. It's just not very flattering in certain areas. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You got a rabbit belly. That's why I asked the guys to move it to the warehouse where it'd be totally out of sight. But, of course, it's on full display in front of Doug Commander, where a ton of people will see it. Hey, buddy. Right here. Wait, watch it. You ready? You owe $2. Side. You owe me $2, you took a photo. Just get this thing out of here. You're gonna have to pay me lost revenue. And of course, leave it to the side to make money off of it. Just lay it on the ground and roll it. No, don't lay it on the Just ground. Just drag it. Go ahead, y'all, go ahead, it. don't drag it. This is the same guy who once charged me a finder's fee to return my lost car keys. I want this back in the warehouse. Willie, they've already paid. Which he stole in the first place. So I move this right. back in the warehouse. We can't, it's a tourist attraction now. Like Sasquatch. All right, come on, back to work. Y'all right. go back to work. Give me my cut. No, y'all go back to work. I took all them pictures for you. All right, step right up. Get your picture here for $1 with old Willie Robertson, old whiskey barrel himself. So cute. Hey, Kay. Hey. How's it going? Great. How many items have you sold? I made $47 and I sold 19 things. Big money. Woo! You're raking it in. I know, it's fun. It's therapeutic. I don't remember seeing this stuff in there. Yeah, what is all this? Y'all are not gonna believe what I discovered. What? You can buy things on eBay, too. You don't just sell. But that doesn't mean you need to buy something. Yeah, I need all this beautiful stuff. You give a man a fish, he eats for a day. You teach my mom how to use eBay, she's gonna buy a lot of fish and all kind of fish-related products. Mom, this was worse than the junk you already had in there. It's in a package. It's beautiful. Nobody needs a box of glue guns. But on the bright side, if my kids need to glue something, they can. And if their kids need to glue something, they can. So I ordered a dozen of these. Why did you order a dozen? Because it was cheap. Hey. And their kids, kids, grandkids, you get the point. Glue guns for everybody. Where are you gonna put this crap? Well, now that the shed's empty. Hey, we didn't clear uh, it out for you to just buy more yeah. stuff and store it's it. It's all new, it's not old, and I'm gonna have it in beautiful clear boxes. And Jeff's gonna help me label it. No, I did not want you to go buy more junk. Oh, Jeff, y'all distracted me and I lost my bed on this beautiful platter and I loved it. It came from France for only $9.95. Okay, you didn't need it. That means it's over. That's a sign. That means stop buying. I mean, it was beautiful. It was a Louis the something. I think you got a problem. I think it's worse than we thought. Get up. Mm -hmm. this... Yeah, like you don't have any problems. What? 
did they do now? Huh. These suckers. There are some sick people in this world. Somebody done gone psycho with a chainsaw. Maybe there was an alien in the wood and it burst out. Oh, I know who did it. Who's the only person who didn't like it? Willie? Yeah. He cut his luck off. He just couldn't handle the truth. The boy definitely got some self-image problems. Oh, yeah. Man, they get a statue built of himself. The boy was sick. There he is. Speaking of the devil, there There's he is. There's the boys. chainsaw bandit. Yeah, nice work. I didn't do it. I assumed y'all were trying something stupid. Oh, here we go. It was you. So si, I didn't do this. What do you mean you didn't do it? She'd been caught wood handed. Get it? Wood handed? <laughs> Go ahead and confess, son, you'll feel better. Look, there's one thing I learned by watching all these crime dramas. The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Why would I come up here, vandalize a statue, then come in here and ask y'all who did it? Blame shifter. We're a lot of things, but vandals? No, nah, that's not in our repertoire. What are you talking about? Or who? Repertoire. Based on evidence, it's very simple. Willie wrecked the statue because he didn't want to have to look at himself anymore. Who did this? The man holding the evidence. I was making money with that thing. So why would I do it? Hey, now he knows how we feel looking at him every day. You was the only one that didn't like it. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I'm going to go look at my video camera, and I'm going to find out who did it. Yeah. What? You got cameras in here? Yes, I have cameras everywhere, Si. I see everything. That's a waste of money. So I'm going to find out who did this. Hey, don't lose it, blubber. I'll make and sell that. <laughs> That's good luck. All right, I'm going to my office. Check it out. Y'all get hey, back. I'm going to see, too. We're going to oh, make sure it wasn't here. If it's one of y'all, I'm going to dock your pay. <laughs> oh, there it is. Here we go. Uh -oh. Oh, look at that. Whose car is that? Who is it? It's a girl. Uh oh. Is that Corey? Oh, that's Corey. <laughs> oh, that's Corey. What is she doing? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She got a chainsaw. She got a chainsaw. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. She's trying to give you a six pack. Dude, you don't want to take her off. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Corey. Hey. Corey. Hey. What are y'all doing? This is security footage. I forgot about the security cameras. <laughs> Shoot. What would you do that for? I was making money with that. I actually feel bad that I've messed up Dayton's statue, but I was doing it for the good of my husband. Si, y'all were making fun of him. Admit it. We were being mean, and you took a chainsaw to your husband. <laughs> Dayton made it look so easy. I thought I could just carve a little off the sides, a little off the front. I actually tried to give you a six pack. <laughs> I couldn't hold this all sideways. And my arms were tired. That thing's heavy. Babe, I was trying to help you. I thought I could just trim the sides a little bit and just make you a little slimmer. Since you've cut up the pine, now you got to do the crime. Oh, my goodness. She, she did the crime. The crime. She's got to do the time. That's that. Well, I'm glad you finally recognized that the statue needed some trimming. It did need a little trimming. Corey, I appreciate Aww. that. I think it was a great Aww. gesture. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Back to work. No. Hey, get a room. And a salad. Just because that one didn't turn out, I got you something else. What is that? He's making you another statue. You didn't say surprise me, did you? No. I'm so excited. What'd you get me, Chip? It's for your own good, Mama. You got me the family together with even Willie. That's a shocker. Is it a birthday or something? I don't think so. Everybody's here for you, Mom. We decided you need an intervention. Chip, I don't do drugs. I mean, I just take some ibuprofen because I have arthritis. It's not that kind of an intervention. Is it about my weight? No. 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 There's got to be full-figured people like me and Willie. Yeah. We add more to the world. You're fat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Something yeah. like that. I'm not fat. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, it's not about your weight. It's about your hoarding issues. Well, I have hoarding tendencies, but that's not the same thing. I think what they're saying is that the hoarding tendency have reached critical mass. But how often do they see it? We're seeing it now. I really hope Mom listens to us at this intervention. I mean, it's for her own good. Honestly, this shed has got to go. We're not saying you have to get rid of everything. Let's just take a step in the non-hoarding direction. I mean, the shed is old. No, it's not old. It's rotten. Mom, this is dangerous. It's falling apart. There's termites in it. The best way to deal with something like this is just yank off the Band-Aid. First step to the road to recovery is admitting you have a disgusting shed. And get rid of 30 boxes of old Band-Aids she's got stacked up in the shed. Putting junk in a rotten shed, you don't see a problem with that? Maybe I do have a little bit of a problem. Is that a yes? OK. I'll do it. Woo!
I do it. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Oh, y'all may want to back up. Where you going? You'll see. When those drastic measures are really cool, all the better. Not sure she knows what she's doing. There she goes. Oh, boy. We're all here for you, Mom. Say bye-bye. Oh, oh okay. that's all the way. They don't even build things like they do. Oh, no. Knock the other side down, dummy. All right, wait, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mom. Woo! I think that's it. Amen. Let's eat. All right, y'all ready? Let's bow. Father, we do thank you for another good day here. You have been extremely kind to us. Thank you for this good food. I pray we love you more each day and love each other. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Oh, Let's get on that thing. We all got our flaws, whether we admit to them or not. For instance, some of us are hoarders, and some of us are a little too self-conscious about our weight. While we don't always acknowledge our own weaknesses, leave it to your family to help you face the truth. Sure, it may be embarrassing or uncomfortable, but they're doing it out of love, and that's what family's for. I want to make an announcement. I've just ordered a brand new shed. Mom. Okay. And the hoarding continues. I think I'm going to get one of these there. Uh, that's what I need. Put right that there. up, dude. You don't need that. Hey, I do need this. Jace, put it up. If you had to have one weapon in the woods, what would you go with? One weapon? One weapon. Why a ninja throwing star? Ninja throwing star. Why am I not surprised? Willie has this obsession with ninjas. You don't have the body type for a leotard. I think there's a weight limit on ninjas. When he takes off running, he looks like two possums fighting over a dead squirrel in a toe sack. You couldn't even get in a ninja suit. Real ninjas are, have all kind of different body weights. I think he's more like a sumo wrestler than a ninja. Have you ever seen Enter the Ninja? No. Oh, no. Philip McMillan. What? What's going on, duck boys? Jace? What about it, Dimples? Dude, nobody calls me Dimples anymore. Really? Because I just did. Jace and I have known Philip McMillan since high school. He's the guy who thinks he is the best at everything. When you're 21 and still in high school, yeah, you're pretty good at stuff. How's the duck business going? It's going great. How's the whatever you do? This is what you're into now? Riding lawnmowers in town? This is just my ride around mower. My racing rig is what I'm really proud of. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I hate lawnmowers. Let's get rid of them all. The world would be a better place. If you combine the time you waste cutting grass with the time you waste shaving your face, we'd be going to Venus, you know, and we could be doing whatever. You ever won any of these races? Yeah, I win them all. If you boys are interested, y'all might want to meet me up there for a little race on Saturday night. Are you challenging me? If y'all could put something together. You can talk any redneck into a challenge. I'll beat the crap out of you in the lawnmower. That's why so many rednecks die in such strange ways. Because he would rather be dead than disrespected. Well, get all your boys together, fix up whatever you want, and let's get it on. I just might Done. have to do that. I'll be waiting. Put a darn shirt on, dude. See you at the races. Oh, I hit him right in the forehead with a throwing <laughs> star. I was thinking. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Hey, I'm about to ruin. Hi, right, Si. Hey, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the sound you're used to. Look here. I love that Humpty song. Stop cramping my style, man. Hey, forget the duck calls. Mm hmm This is serious, boys. Look, here's the deal. We've been challenged. Who challenged us? Philip McMillan. Uh, uh, yeah. Needless to say, 
I can't stand the guy. Who can? Hey, he stole my favorite hat one time, and I got a sunburn on my head. He made fun of my beard. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, right, you never insult a man's beard. You think you get either thunder or lightning. Either one. Where'd you see him at? At the hardware store. Riding his lawnmower. I ain't never seen him on nothing else. He challenged us to a race. A race? What, racing lawnmowers? A lawnmower race. What are we gonna do? Who, see who can cut the most grass? No, sir, a race. We get in a line and we race, and whoever's the fastest wins. So here's what I need you to do. We're gonna have a time trial at my house. Go get your lawnmower, meet me there in two hours. What are we gonna do, mow your grass? Sir! Uh, I don't know what y'all talking about. Bring your lawnmower. No, we're gonna go over and mow his grass. <laughs> All right, girls, today I'm making a duck gumbo for Papa Phil. But you know how you start off making it? You make a roux. You're making kangaroo? It's just called a roux. Well, what's that? That is a sauce. Hey, buddy. The older women teaching the younger women how to cook. Now, that's a good thing there. Isn't that a pretty picture? When you see your grandkids all gather around and Mamaw's showing them how to cook a roux, I consider that a very positive thing, especially in this culture. What are we what? doing, little chickies? We're cooking here? We're making gumbo. If she surprised me with a duck gumbo out of the clear blue, that usually means there's ulterior motives in there somewhere. She's up to something. Whoa! What's in the box, Miss Kate? Oh, that's a little country cottage I got for the girls, but I just need you to put it together. Yep, I, I get it now. Well, suppose I don't put this house together today. Well, suppose I don't serve you this gumbo today. If Miss Kate thinks she's gonna get me to do her bidding by cooking me a gumbo, she's got another thing coming there. What is this, though? I don't know, I'll figure it out. What is it, oh, what? 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 No, the bottom line is I'm just glad I didn't have a house full of girls. Seems rather nightmarish to me. What is this, Dad? Where does this go? Don't just stand there. I'll figure it out. Yeah, put that over there. Ooh, I feel sorry for that poor soul that has to raise them. Glad it didn't happen to me. What in the world? Cuteness and sweetness is good with granddaughters for about, what, a minute or two? Tell them hit the road. Go back in the back room and play dolls or whatever they do. I tell you what, look, go see Miss Kay and then come back and I'll get it fixed. Papa Phil, do you know what you're doing? I'll fix it. Are you sure? See you later. Good grief. Look, we're doing a time trial here. We're doing three laps to see who has the best motor best driving skills, and all around best driving demeanor. Now it's on to the time trials. It's time to take these mowers out in the open lawn and clean the pipes out. Does anybody have a lawn mower like post-1995? This thing's about 45 years old, but hey, it'll still run. Hey, this is a 1965 Praying Menace Grasshopper. This one is made for leisurely driving, boys. You know, take it slow and easy. Like the tortoise and the hare, boys. Hey, who won that? You know, it was a cat that took a slow and easy. Hey, it's a praying menace. <laughs> anyway, Jeff, what are you what are you running? It's all I got is a push mower. What kind of race this is it in anyway? <laughs> well, you know, hey, I think that team might have turned on you. Let's be honest, this time trial is just for show. I really just wanted the guys to come out and see how good I was on the lawnmower. I think I've got this thing locked down. Whoa. Seriously? What are you doing? We've got our entire Duck Commander workforce sitting in my yard on old lawnmowers. We fixed to have a lawnmower race. Time trial. Whatever. I thought y'all were kidding when you were talking about this. Well, I don't kid when somebody challenges my manhood. Hey, he started this war. This is about Philip McMillan, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if we're throwing rocks, but if he challenged us to who could fly a kite the highest, we'd all be out there with strings, you know? It's about manhood, standing up and being a man. This is what we do. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> oh, 
Do I feel stupid? Oh, yeah. I'm on a lawnmower in Willie's backyard with other grown men. Would I rather look stupid than disgraced by a redneck? I'll take stupid every day. All right, uh-huh. Between the five of us here, I figure we can get this 10 acres cut, what, 30 minutes? Hey, this praying mantis, smooth cutting. It's like when a woman goes to a beauty parlor, OK? She went in there looking like an old hag, and then she comes out looking like Dolly Parton. Just like I thought, big winner. But my mower definitely needs some more speed. By the time I get through with it, I'm gonna demolish Philip McMillan. It's time to get serious. I'm talking Philip McMillan. I'm talking right. Philip McVillan. Right. He's going down. He's going down. Fire! Whoa! That's it. <laughs> Let's get it to the well, warehouse. Let's get out of here. Soup this baby up. I knew I didn't need no directions on something like that. Good night. I figure the granddaughters will be happy, happy, happy when they see the grandpa architectural skills on a playhouse. Yeah, that'll work. Now, that's a fine piece of work right there, if I have to say so myself. What do you think? It doesn't look like the picture. Close enough. No. No. No? Boo, you got parts all over there you hadn't even used. I can tell he's tossed the directions one more time, decided to do it all himself, but it's not looking right. What's that? That is where I think you take a leak. Women do not do that. That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think they're going to use the commode for anything, so I guess it was there just for decor. So what do y'all think, girls? Are you fired up or what? There's not even a window. You want a window? Yeah. What well, you right want, right there. here? All right, back out of the way. You want a window, I'll give you a window. A chainsaw in this part of the country is a redneck's best friend. You can take trees down and cut your firewood up, or you can work on grandchildren's playhouses. They are ready to go. Way better. And what else y'all need to do to it? Nothing uh, else. No, no. Standard equipment. I carry one with me all the time. Climb up in there. What do you think? It's cool. <laughs> Let's take it to a duck blind. A duck blind? Now you talking. I'm going to leave on that. I believe you girls are going to turn out just fine. All right, gentlemen, I think you know why we're all here. Why are we here? We're modifying this mower, you idiot. I told y'all. Hmm. Well, how you do that? We're gonna beef it up. That's beefed up. You're sitting on it. Do y'all wanna make duck calls? Is that what you wanna do? No, I don't wanna no. make duck calls. No, no, I like a project. Let's go with it. I'm gonna take this regular, ordinary lawnmower and turn it into a super beast racing machine. I've done a little research. This is what I want this looking like. Good. Well, hey, you got a picture of it. Why don't we get that one? That belongs to Philip A. Millen. That's some pretty good research here. Got off the internet. It was on his status update. So you're friends with him <laughs> on the internet? Not me, but another name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There you go now. Stay gone. You get a redneck working on a mower, you're going to get something awesome. You put five rednecks on a mower, you're going to get something epic. How else can we drop weight? Although you are really not good at dropping weight. Stop. What are you doing? It's all about physics and our dynamics. Just trying to do my part, boys. These boys don't know nothing. And I, I don't know nothing, and I'm the best one there is around this bunch. What are, what are we doing? He said tear it apart, so we're tearing it apart. That doesn't look like the picture. Well, well she's got red up here. He builds racing lawnmower. He does what? Jimmy Red builds racing lawnmowers? Yep. What? Hey, Goblin, I know you're not the smartest pickle in the barrel, but don't you think that would have been pertinent information before we got ourselves in this mess? Does it go fast? Yeah, it goes fast, about 80. Why didn't you open your mouth? I ain't gonna build no duck calls. 
<laughs> I hope Jimmy Red's mower is a whole lot faster than this one because we ain't losing the filament milling. Here's what we do. We're going to put all this back together. We're taking it back. Good luck with that. Hey, we'll do this tomorrow. That ain't that We're racing to do. tomorrow. Hey, we can do it in the morning. I'm serious. Hey. Good luck taking that back. There we go. Oh. Y'all push, I'm focusing. Focusing on what, not doing anything? This is it. This is the big time. We got Jimmy Red's mower, and it looks fast as crap. Oh, here we go. Easy. Yeah, thanks for the help. There's no way we're losing. I'm going to beat the crap out of Philip in this lawnmower race. Whoa. They got some serious machinery right. here, boys. I'm telling you one thing, they don't look like they're kidding around. How hard can it be? When I accepted Phillip's challenge, I didn't realize that death could occur. Don't be a coward. We can do this. I'm not quitting, because I ain't a quitter. You only live once. That's what I'm afraid of. But I am a little concerned. What's the worst thing that could happen to you? I could freaking die. You me all right? Willie is not going to be OK. Let's go. My granddaughter said, let's go with a duck blind. And I said, well, now we are cooking with peanut oil. <laughs> are y'all fired up about these ducks or what? Yeah! I thought so. I said, you know, I am really proud of my granddaughters. <laughs> Hey, you never know. They may turn out to be duck hunters. It is never too early to teach them. Well, look out there on that bench in front of you. See them lined up out there? And we're going to see what kind of shots you are. Frack them and stack them. For everybody who hits one of those ducks, that's a crisp $1 bill. I didn't hear any meat pop. I don't think I got it. No dollar for you. I'm trying to teach these grandkids of mine the Robertson way. Put your head down where you look right down the barrel. I think I missed. I made a valiant attempt, but I'm not making much headway. Put the front sight right on the duck, Mary. She's fixed to shoot. Woo. You got him. <laughs> hey, hey, good work. Y'all some duck hunters down. Ladies and gentlemen, one more yuppie girl moved just a little closer to being a redneck. Did y'all ever play with dolls or duck hunt? There's still hope for America out there. You girls may make rednecks after all. It's a start. It's a good day. They learned a good lesson there. Hey, were you serious about my dollar? I did say I'd give you a dollar, didn't I, if you hit a duck. You just like a woman. Thank you. All it takes is money. Welcome to the High Hamilton Saturday Night Lawnmower Races. Are you ready to assume the role of CEO if something were to happen? Racers, start your mowers. We can do this. We can do it. You're going down, duck boy. No, I ain't. You're going down. On your mark. Get set. And all I'm getting from him is terror. He won't get off the inner track. He's driving eight miles an hour. He's scared to death. You're OK. You're OK. You're OK. These guys are fast. Like, 
supersonic fast. All I'm thinking about right now is don't die. Because if I die, in a weird way, Philip wins. Hey, look at McMillan. Looks like Philip McMillan's having engine troubles. I see that Philip's in trouble. I'm thinking, you know what? We can't win the war, but we could win this battle. Willie can take it. Philip McMillan bringing up the rear. Forget winning the race. We just want to beat Philip. He's actually got a little speed builder down. No! All you got to do is finish. <laughs> it's a nail fighter to see who can take last place. And Willie takes the lead. We got him. We'll take it. You buy the whole seat, but you only need to edge. You were terrible, but hey, you didn't finish last. That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you go back and get you an undershirt? Better luck next time. Take them Crocs back to the old trailer house. Hey, right, let's go get something to eat. Hey, wait, we need to go put that lawnmower together. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. We also thank you for keeping old Willie safe during the race. Amen. 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 Right, let's eat. A wise man once said, you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. Philip McMillan needed his tail whooped in a lawnmower race. My nieces needed some quality redneck time with Papa. And I had the need for speed. Ow! Well, I didn't exactly get that either, but I did learn the value of having a great pit crew, and on the race of life, that's your family and friends. They're the ones that make you feel like you've won, even when you come in last. And that's better than any trophy in the world. Hey, Willie, the praying mantis cuts grass way better than the thing you drive. It has nothing to do with grass! <laughs>"What's he got going on? I don't know. Sir, si, what? what are you doing? I'm putting security camouflage on my shed. All right, whatever. Where's my auger? I've been robbed. What? I've been ransacked, all right? I've been bamboozled. Ransacked? Yeah, ransacked. Yeah. Ransacked? Hey, look. Yeah, ransacked. They stole my stuff and your auger. They stole my auger? <laughs> yeah, they stole it. I've been traumatized. I've been violated. So I think I'm the one that's been violated here because they stole my auger. What are you talking about? All right, so lending an expensive piece of equipment to a man who can't even keep track of his own glasses, even though they're on his face, was probably a terrible idea. This is your security system, some camo netting? Well, hey, look, you gotta have something. That'll stop him. I'm not sure why he didn't just tell me the auger was stolen over the phone. But to be fair, he did mention something about miscreants and hoodlums flushing this nation down the commode. Ty, your shed doesn't even have a door. It's got half a door. But I never really put the two together. I had some antiques in that thing. Look at that. No, it looks like they took everything good and left all the crap. It ain't nothing these dead gum rascals won't steal. They're the lowest of the low. Hey, this whole nation's going to the toilet. That shed's a toilet. No, it ain't. There ain't nothing wrong with that shed. I don't think the camo netting's gonna help any. What's this nation going to? You gotta put chains and locks on everything? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. That's pretty no. much what you do. I ought to be able to leave my shed unguarded, you know. You told me I got to hire a security force around this darn place. No, I said just maybe get a shed with a door that locks. Look, boys, I'm gonna get the boys in blue. They get the forensic evidence, okay? Cops would just tell you to put a door in a lock. Well, I guess my auger's gone. I've been violated, I've been bushwhacked, I've been Amtrak and sidetracked. So si, you just need to bulldoze this whole thing. That thing's like one of my children. You don't put camo netting over your kids. Well, what are you trying to say here? You need a new shed. You gonna buy me a shed? Si, I'm not buying you a new shed. You're what gonna you buy me about? an auger. No. But it was stolen from you. 
Yeah, but it was yours. All right, we'll split the difference. I'll buy it, and you install it. That, what? I'm gonna get some other deal. What about my auger? The thieves took the auger. Okay, get over it. It's gone. How much did that thing cost anyway? A couple $800. hundred dollars? Eight hundred dollars? Yes. You paid eight hundred dollars? Yeah. Did you feel violated? No. You, you should have for eight hundred dollars. You're the one that should call the law for $800. You got ripped Good off. Great. Mia, here's the deal. Your mom's plane has been delayed. So she wants me to take care of your cheerleading event. Who's getting me ready then? That would be me. When you go in there, you put your hair in a ponytail, you grab some pom poms, and. We don't have pom poms. You can't hold pom poms while you're throwing somebody in there. Well, what happened to cheerleading? You have to do my hair, my makeup. Oh, my goodness. Tonight's cheer competition is a big deal. Can you just call Aunt Cory? Because she's done it with Bella before. I already called Aunt Cory. She's out. So I'm going to handle well, this. Well, what about Aunt Jessica? She's good with hair. She's, she's good with This is Mia's last event before another round of surgery on her cleft palate. And the whole family will be out there to support her. Are you really going to help me? Yeah. I mean, how hard can it be? Mm, pretty hard. I mean, the idea of my dad at a cheerleading competition, this is once in a lifetime type stuff. I'm not sure I agree with you wearing all this makeup. I mean, last time I checked, you're still a kid. Well, there's like a million cheerleaders out there, and they all wear makeup. What's wrong with these people? You saying I have something wrong with me? No, I'm saying you're beautiful. You don't need all this paint. Well, we have to wear it. So what do I need to do? So you have to have the um, the stuff on your eyes match perfectly with the little wing right here. And then you need to have a lot of blush. Your cheeks yeah. are really pink. Bright red lips. And then you need to do the gloss on it. And it's supposed to be in a, a wing. wing shape. A little angel wing right here. Angel wing. Goes like that. Goes like this. Or like that. And then you have to put a braid right here. Have you ever made an angel? Dad? I have no idea what that means. I think you have a problem. How hard can this be? Mm, pretty hard. I thought we was here to get a shed. Yeah, we're going to get a shed. Hey, this is the Fort Knox type shed that I need. Just think, if I'd have had this, you wouldn't have lost your auger. You know what I mean? No, I rarely know what you mean. Hey, look, this is the tall mahage of storage units. It don't get no better. That's the slogan, boys. I like it. They've got little sheds that are nice. No, hey. It's better than a shed. It's better than a shed, just like he said. Si, what's your wife gonna say about this? Hey, she don't care. I wear the pants in the family, uh, all right? We'll see how that goes. Hey, I tried yeah. that. This thing to keep thieves out? It's thief-proof, solid as a safe. Hey, the man has got a point. He's selling it. Of course he's gonna sell it. No, that. hey. Wow. No. Hey, look, it's one thing I learned from the war. You can never be too prepared. There's no way we can move that thing. I got the truck. Got the crane? Come on, man. And with the technology advancements and weaponry, we're more vulnerable than ever. What day you want to deliver it, sir? Si? Hey, my shit, it's got to be strong, just like me, OK? Fortified and full of crap. <laughs> you know people actually live in these now? Put them on a piece of land. And... No, they just yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do, too. It's a hipster's dream. A hippie back in the 60s would have loved to have one of these. How would you go to the toilet? Oh, you just go outside after that. No, you just cut a hole in it. Oh, or that. We can put a bucket under it. Come on, man. Sounds like we got a deal to me. A little bit to the left. Left? Your left. left or my left? Your left. No, the other way. You need to turn it this way, Ty. Hey, quiet down in the peanut gallery. That's all. Whoa. Hey, look out now. The truck moved? Yeah. It's sinking. Oh, crap. Between my way. Better here than mine. Headache. Oh, headache. Headache. Whoa. headache. I think she's a little front heavy. Hey, is the truck supposed to be off the ground? All right, bring it in for a landing, <laughs> boys. Shut up. You sure that's where you want it? Put her down. Oh, whoa. Good job. Perfect. What do you think? I think you're stupid, so. No, I mean, look at it. What do you think? 
It looks like a power truck. Does that rock and pop or what? And especially when I get them 50 calibers mine on. You talking about rocking and popping? Huh? Hey, we got to put guns and ammo and food in this thing, so I'm gonna be ready. Ready for what? For the zombie apocalypse. What? Your yard? Welcome to the zombie apocalypse shed. Apocalypse? Yeah. The apocalypse. What's well, a zombie apocalypse? Jeff, did you tell me about zombies? Yeah. Look, don't be talking behind my back. Come over here and say it to my face. Jeff told me all about zombies the other day. Look, that ain't nothing but a metaphor for hippies. Si, the zombie apocalypse is not real. Yeah, Jeff told me you would say the apocalypse wasn't real. Look, hey, the hippies, OK, look, they was running rampant, OK? And they was, you know, stumbling and mumbling and shuffling all around. No matter what Jeff told you, it ain't real. Look, it ain't a matter of time, OK? It's when they're coming. Huh? It's like they lived out of some kind of shoe that smelled like a skunk. And I'm going to be ready, buddy. That's scary. Hey, look, all you hippies out there, you mess with Silas M. Robertson, you're going to suffer consequences and the repercussions. Good plan. I'm going to be ready. All right, boys, we got to get food and ammo on this thing ASAP. That means as soon as possible for you non-Army guys. So uh, we know what ASAP means. Get the old shed in the new shed, then we'll eat. And it's on me. Yeah, I'm hungry. This is not a government job. Y'all are here to work. Daddy, uh, you just put it in and wrap the ponytail around. How does that feel right there? Um, it all fell down. It's a little harder than it looks here. It's really simple. I know. Stay. Stay. Sit. Just because I've never done Mia's hair or makeup doesn't mean I can't figure this out. Okay, think? okay. This is my nightmare today. I've painted several houses and a few barns. You put this for your eyeliner? I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do that. How different can a little face paint be? You just take it and slop it on there. Cover up all the nooks and crannies. Okay. Oh, darn. Oh, good. This is the same thing. It's just brighter. Dad, you're scaring me. I went too high. Dad! I'm worried if this gets in your eye. Have you ever had this in your eye? No. People are really experienced. All right. Well, I I have absolutely no experience. Remember to do the wing. Oh, the wing. Now, where does the wing go? It's just a little sharp pointy thing right there. Sharp pointy thing? Let me give it a try. Got your wing for you. I'm more going for the duck wing. I don't want to look like a duck. Nothing wrong with looking like a duck. They're the most beautiful bird on the planet. Okay, I'm getting kind of right. nervous. Got your wing for you. Courtesy of old Jace. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> You're going to love this. I finally did something right. Dad, I look like a constipated dog. Maybe my coach can do it. Your coach can do this? Easy with that decoy guy with. You and Jeff, be careful with the uh, owl there. That's Sweet Pea's long lost brother. That's a white albino petrified cat. But be careful with him. He's priceless, boys. I found him when I was in Arizona. Got Mexico on it. He ain't got Mexico on it, you knucklehead. This says Mexico, Mexico right here. What do you mean it says Mexico? Oh, that's all up. I oh. did it. Y'all killed albino? Good. <laughs> Cracked it. Is there any treasure in there? Boy, that'd been awesome. Them dongs are in there. Do you still want this? No, you done killed him. Al's bit the dust, boys. Hey, look, I'm really enjoying my new storage container slash zombie shelter. This thing is cool, though, man. You can do all kind of stuff up in here. All right, check this out, boys. Hey, it's like an expensive pair of underwear, OK? Hey, it's good at holding all my junk. Give me a hand, Mark. Right here. Hand for what? The real question here, OK, is how's it going to do in a zombie apocalypse? OK. I have some kind of ventilation system. This place would be pretty cool. Wait. Installed. Hey. I know for a fact Jeff ain't a zombie. Uh... OK, but hey, let's face it. If there was a zombie apocalypse, OK, Jeff would be the first one to go. Let me out of here. Hey. I think he's turning, boys. He's infected. Infected with what? What? Zombie. Ha uh ha, -huh, real funny. Shut up, zombie. 
Let me out. He's saying something. Let me out. That's what I'm what? saying. He said, don't open the door. I might hurt somebody. Uh-oh. I got to get out of here, man. He oh. said, you can't let me out of here, man. Yeah, he said, don't let him out. It's 300 degrees in here. He's already turned, boys. I he's can't hear. My eyelids are sweating. Hey, he's in the mutation stage right now. Seriously, guys, my crotch is getting swampy. All right, sir. All right, let him out. Let him out. This is definitely not a good place to live. I was totally wrong about that. I got a key here somewhere. Ty, seriously, it's hot. That key gonna help that. What That's a combination lock. Hey, what about a lock? Did y'all lock me in here? Uh-oh. Y'all done? Yeah, we're done. Did you lock the dang door? Shut up in there, zombie. Why is he locked inside uh, the container? I wanted to see if it worked. So, uh, oh, oh, I'm serious, hey. And you don't know the combination? No, I don't know what that, hey. A dying is stupid container. I'm going to get some bolt cutters. Bolt cutters? Uh, I'm going to cut that lock off. Hey, that thing cost me $8. I'm getting bolt cutters. Willie, you can't cut it off. This is zombie quarantine going on here. I am not a zombie. Shut up, zombie. Well, what are we going to do now? I guess we're going to have to wait till Willie gets back with the bolt cutters. Well, I'm hungry. My eyeballs are sweating. Hey, look, I got some cookies at the house. Oh, some cookies, cookies. cookies. Yeah, fresh hey. baked too, boy. You got Hold on, attention. Jeff, we'll be right hey, back. We'll be right back. You want a cookie? Hey, where y'all going? That's good talk. Hey, I want some cookies. I need a bucket of water too. Seriously, guys, my crotch is getting swampy. One, two, three, four, wow. five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, Man, is this normal? Five, six, seven, eight, one, three. This seems pretty intense. Do you do this too? It's making my joints queasy. I mean, you talking about pull a muscle. There's Mia. She's late. Yeah, we had a we ran into a little problem. Her mom plane got delayed, long story short. I was in over my head. She's missing warm-ups. Well, I had a little problem with the hair and makeup. That was my... my right, it's supposed I to be a cat eyes. Well, it was angel wings. Yeah, he's having a little trouble. Yeah. There are very few things in this life that scare me. I, I thought, like, the angel thing was supposed to go like that. You're right, baby, it is. It's supposed to go up like that, but you're supposed to have it on both eyes. This is not actually my area and of And your dad drew, like, some kind of smudged X. Yeah. Bears, cottonmouth moccasins, that's about it. It's a short list. Yeah. I didn't know what they looked like. I never seen an angel. I said, what kind? Yeah, you could have Googled a picture of angel wings. That would have probably been a good idea. But I'll tell you this, Mia's cheerleading coach, she scares me. That's not going to work. That won't work. Mm -mm. It's the most intimidated I've ever been by someone without a beard. You're going to have to get one of my moms to do that. OK. Good idea. Got it? Yeah. Hurry up. Got it. You're talking about a bulldog. That's a little rude. You know, hurt her feelings. Trust me, there's no way I can hurt that woman's feelings. All right. Day one, minute three. I'm so hot in here. Just stop making message. I love you. A lot of times, when you said take the trash out, I didn't do it. I'm sorry. You're a good woman. Wait at least a year before you get married again. Don't make any rash decisions, OK? And you better be cool and be a gamer and all that. So don't get some moron that my kids won't like. I love you. Ugh. Hey, y'all got to get me out of here, man. These cookies are good. They are good. Mm. Woo! Hey, Jeff, I wish you could have had one of these cookies. Agua. What? Agua. He said agua. That's Spanish for brains. Mm. Hey, look, in every experiment, OK, there's got to be a test subject. All right, look. And Jeff made a good one today. You don't reckon he died, did you? No, he's undead, Gowan. This here was a quarantine test, OK? Mm. And it passed. Boys, I'm gonna tell you what. This zombie chair here, mm. pretty good investment. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, it works. Well, he can't get out. Oh, that's that's sure. exactly right. That's what I wanted to make sure of. Uh, I need to poop. This thing works so good, hey, I'm probably gonna buy me 10 more of them for the front yard. 
Ugh. Hey, plus, I like messing with Jeff. Calvary's here, boys. You brought beer? No, Willie's here. Y'all gotta get me out of here. All right, here we go, boys. Don't freaking bang on the door. He ain't gonna be able to do it, boys. Hey, yeah, there you go, baby. Piece of junk. The light. I warned y'all. You okay? Is that him? Not funny. You was acting strange, son. What happened, bro? Did you pee in your pants or something? I just sweated through my boxers and my jeans. That's what I'd say, too. I'm dehydrated. Hey, look here. Got about two or three more things on the porch I need to put in here. Let's hurry up. I got to go. Hey, by the way, your auger's in there. Are you freaking kidding me? It's in the back under a tarp. Sigh! You don't freaking kid me. Hey. All right, boy, let's see if we got any more cookies left. Let me out. <laughs> Jeff, did you go to the bathroom in there? All right, man, up next. These girls work hard. Oh, it's, I can't get over this. It's, it's a, a big it's deal. It's a very intense thing. What are you talking about? Bunch of kids jumping up down on the stage, that ain't a sport. Anything they can do that I can't, I consider that a sport. No, it ain't no sport. This is a sport. No. Nah. Number one, they ain't got no ball. They're kicking around, throwing around, so it ain't a sport. Is NASCAR not a sport, son? No, NASCAR ain't no sport. What about karate? That didn't involve a ball. Karate? Now you got, you're talking something now, kung fu, OK? Kicking people, hitting them in the face, yeah. <laughs> now we're going somewhere. <laughs> You know, think about it. When they're doing their moves, then you just, you know, when they flip, you know, boom, right on the neck. <laughs> hey, that one's out. Drag her off the stage, bring out another one. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I did not miss it. No, you did not miss it. Yes. Yeah, oh, my you goodness. Made I cannot it, believe babe. I made it. <sighs> it's all okay. under control. You got her ready and everything? Piece what does she cake. look like? Oh, no, look, she looks fantastic. Right. Really? She, she, she looks great. Her. She looks great. I don't know what I'm more relieved about, getting here on time or Jace pulling off the whole cheer dad thing. I had to get some help. I had to call in reinforcements. Yeah, I turned into like a manager. Let's just be honest here. I had zero confidence that Jace could pull this off. I'll have to admit something. What? I usually have to ask a couple of moms to help me, too. Maybe you should have put that with the text. <laughs> but if there's one thing I can count on, it is Jace going the extra mile for our kids. Y'all grab hands. Y'all ready to be amazing? Yes, Ready to do awesome? Yes, ma'am. All right. Dear Lord, I pray that you watch over these girls as they go on stage. Lord, I thank you that these girls have the talents that they have. In your son's name we pray. Amen. One, two, three. Blue Sappers! <laughs> We oftentimes learn the hard way when we've taken something for granted. Jace can vouch for this after getting a crash course in cheer mom duties. I managed to take my auger for granted when I lent it to my Uncle Si. And speaking of Si, he's got a poorly camouflaged shed to thank for all his crap getting stolen. But despite all that, it's a good reminder of the things or people we should never take for granted. Like your cheerleading savvy wife. Or pretty much anyone else in your family even if they do lock you in a storage container. Hey, Si, don't forget, you still owe me an auger. No, I don't think so. One, two, three. Blue Sappers! <laughs> We oftentimes learn the hard way when we've taken something for granted. Jace can vouch for this after getting a crash course in cheer mom duties. I managed to take my auger for granted when I lent it to my Uncle Si. And speaking of Si, he's got a poorly camouflaged shed to thank for all his crap getting stolen. But despite all that, it's a good reminder of the things or people we should never take for granted. Like your cheerleading savvy wife. Or pretty much anyone else in your family even if they do lock you in a storage container. Hey, Si, don't forget, you still owe me an auger. No, I don't think so.
Willie. Hmm? You got a package from Gallant, South Africa. Oh, my biltong. Biltong? My biltong. What's biltong? African jerky. Oh, God. Anybody who knows about real beef jerky knows about biltong. It's the land of the great meats. You got wildebeest. Biltong is delicious. Kudu. Biltong is pungent. Springbok. Biltong is exotic. Gimsbok. And biltong is really, really fun to say. Is biltong an animal? Biltong is the word for African jerky. Biltong. Biltong. Everybody wants a little biltong. Biltong. Oh, that stinks. It smells delicious. I smell me some meat. Hey, I lost the silk. No, I'm telling you, it's down here. You're right. I smell what it. What you got? What? What's in the box? Tack stuff. So I'm part bloodhound. The nose don't lie. We've been trailing this. Look here. I can smell like a hawk, boys. It stinks, doesn't it? No, it smells delicious. You name it, hey, I can smell it. I smell meat. Ducks, deer, alligator. I got work to do, and this whole office is smelling like dog crap, cotton mouths, K's cooking. It's Bill Tom. Bill Tom, I told Bill, you. Bill Tom? Keen sense of smell. From South Africa. Bill Bomb? Bill Tom. It's jerky. Why didn't he say that? That's what he said. I smell meat. Let's eat something. All right, this is mine. I put Jack Links in the break room for you guys. That's why we came in here. No, we ate all that. I just put it in there. I know. That was gone yesterday. I'm not here to feed you guys. You're here to work. Are you serious? You're not going to share that? Mm-hmm. That's just wrong. Now you want to eat it? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buy your own crap. That's it. I'm out of here. You're a terrible brother. Hey, give me a piece of it. I just licked it. Hey, five second rule. That's when it hits the ground. No, it applies to everything. into a jerk over this jerky. I mean, he's got enough for about three months, which he'll probably consume in three days. We have, as rednecks, the right to eat beef jerky. Do you think the reason he looks like Sasquatch is because he eats so much beef jerky? No, I think it's because he just doesn't care about body appearance. <laughs> uh, beef jerky is a redneck's fuel. John, did you just eat all the Jack Links? I just told Willie we were out. We are. You take away his beef jerky, you're worse than Willie, sitting in the corner, sucking his thumb. Everyone knows that. Sam, what are you doing with that box? This is my complaint box. What are you going to complain about? I'm going to complain about Willie not giving me any of the jerky he just got in. <laughs> okay. Hey, look here. I should have thought of this complaint box years ago. There is so much to complain about around this joint. He's stingy. And selfish. All right, we got no sofas for napping, no iced tea dispenser. They took away Camo Friday. We need a lifelong supply of coffee and jerky. No taco truck. Martin's ugly mug. And hey, the peanut to chocolate ratio in the trail mix is on the peanut heavy side. And we need a better grade of toilet paper. That's right. That's a true statement. That toilet paper we got now, it's like John Wayne. It don't take crap off nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why I always go to the women's bathroom. They got better toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Put that in the complaint box. Hey, right, look, I'm gonna need a bigger box. i tell you what we need to do. We need to make our own jerky. I got a lot of deer meat at the house. I got a dehydrator. Perfect. You don't want to share your jerky? Fine. We'll go get the dehydrator. I'll go get the meat. I'll make my own bill tongue. We'll make our own jerky. I'll call it gay stone. Let's go right now. And when you ask for some of it, you know what I'm going to say? Can't have any jace jerky. Now that rolls off the tongue. Jerky. You know, I'm starting to put the pieces to our problem together. We drink a lot of strong black coffee, we eat a lot of beef jerky, and we use a lot of toilet paper. 
I think y'all crap too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Will. Willie. Well, what in the world are y'all doing here? We just got back from the doctor. Uh-oh. You know to help whatever you got? Some of this biltong. Well, simply put. We're dying. What? Miss Kay and I are healthy as we can be, as far as I know. You're dying? You're both dying? One day we fixed to kick the bucket. If you've made it 65 years, you're like, we're ahead of the game. But we will go. Did he say anything about dying or someone's dying? Yeah, we're gonna die. Mom, I know we're gonna die at some point. He never said specifically what would kill us. We're like everyone else. At some point, presto, they gone. So no one's dying, right? Well, not at the moment. We just want to make sure that what we leave behind is in order. Is this about your will? Who gets what, you know, so oh, you don't fight it. Gosh, all right. So I'm saying, let's go down there, look at the property lines, get it all divided up. Today? Today, right now. Do you know I fell asleep in the bathtub last night, and it's about the hundredth time I've done that? I could just sink on down to that water, and that'd be it. I don't know what the doctors told Phil and Kay, but now they're all fired up about dying. I open the bathroom door, look here. Lay them back in the bathtub. They're being a little melodramatic, if you ask me. Mom, you're not gonna drown. Who drowns in a bathtub? Her cell phone drowned in the bathtub. And four books. They're dead. All of it. I swear, this conversation... Have you thought about just maybe taking a shower? She lives in the bathtub. It's gonna kill me. Look, if it means we can just stop this conversation, I'll come down, we'll look at the property, we'll start from there. You the man. What is that smell? It's Bill Tom. Look like that's dangerous to your health. I still can't figure out why don't we do this over a map. Well, nothing sticks in a man's ears like his father's voice. Oh, bull crap. This is a terrible plan. Don't you think we should write this down somewhere? And... A man's word's better than putting it on paper. You ever wonder why families end up arguing over their inheritance? See all this right here in the house behind you? That goes to Island, your oldest brother. What? It's because their parents asked their son, who isn't getting the house, to remember the will. Why is it Allen's? He's the oldest. It's in the Bible. Tell him, Phil. It dates back to the Old Testament. The firstborn had precedent over all the rest of them. I'm glad I didn't get sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. If you want to guarantee that your passing is handled correctly... However, if Al dies... Jason. Well, and my... then next would be Willie. And then it goes to Cy. You've got to make sure you have a good backup plan. Size si old as crap. I don't think you want to be working him into the inheritance. Look at him. We never thought he'd live this long, did we? The more backups, the better. You left out one of your sons. Well, that's right. No. Backups. What about Jeff? For backups. It really should be Jace. For backups. To Willie. For backups. To Jeff. There you go. Now it's And then to Si, if y'all all die, like, in a plane crash or something. God. Yeah. I probably should leave something to Bobo and JJ, too. We ain't getting any younger, Will. Let's go. Always be prepared. Drive careful. Godwin, show us what you got here. Hey, it's jerky time, boys. Man. You know what they say? A man's garage is a reflection of his personality. I got a lot of personality. I see that. Jace, jerky, may have hit its first snag. So where's your dehydrator? It's out here somewhere. We just got to dig for it. <laughs> the good news is, Gawain has a dehydrator. Well, you think you're going to find this dehydrator amongst know. all this? That's also the bad news, because it's somewhere in this shed. The last time I used it, I was not uh, making the sandwich one time. Bike is awesome, Gawain. That's my little mini bike. I raced it. They used to call me the flying flea. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of insects that remind me of Galvin, now you're the crawling walrus. I'm not thinking about a flea. You can't even get on that now. Uh -huh. I still ride them things. <laughs> Maybe a stink bug or a giant beetle. I might have put on a few pounds, but I could smoke you on that. <laughs> In other words, something that could eat a flea. You ain't never seen me ride, have you? 
Oh, I don't have to see you ride. Godwin, this is about geometry. You got too much weight. Chase, I'm pretty sure it's physics. Physics, chemistry, geometry, zoology. Let's take it out in the yard. I just hate to whip a man at his own house. Chow, 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 chow. Oh. Buck, 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 buck. Oh, chow, 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 chow. I'm with Gowan. Why are you saying I'm a chicken? Gowan. That's a crow. Buck, buck, buck. Let's get it on, boys. Chow. Well, let's do it. Let's get the race hey. done. <laughs> you ain't gonna right. tell me twice. Hey, it's shut up or put up. I think it's actually put up or shut up. It's also physics if we're making corrections. Bill, why we gotta do this today? Well, you never know. I may kick the bucket tomorrow. I'm starting to think this whole inheritance land division thing. You know, they got aerial maps. You can just look at this. You don't have to physically go out and look at it. It's just an excuse for Phil to hang out with me. There's something about eyeballing, getting a visual, get a pear tree there. I already know the piece he plans to give me, but I'll pretend to be surprised. For me? <sighs> Thank you. Oh, man, this is cool. Yeah, look at that. Carol photograph don't do justice. I actually got to agree with you. You talk about pretty. This thing's flowing fast, too. It used to flow way more than that. I used to pee in an arc, a high arc. But now you got to watch your boots, you know what I'm saying? I thought we were having a moment, Dad. Oh, I am having a moment. Gross. Yeah, old Jace is going to like this piece. Oh, this is his spot. This is his spot. What do you think? At least you peed on his part. Well, come on, Will. Is that the same hand you just peed with? OK, so Al gets the house, and Jace gets the river. But I'm sure that my piece will have the best hunting locations. I mean, I do run Duck Commander. Oh, I remember this spot, Phil. This is where you whacked your first mile of duck, ain't it? Yep. A lot of memories right here. Old Jeff's going to love this piece. This goes to him. He's a baby. No wonder Phil didn't want to use a map. We should get the lake. He certainly likes fishing during work hours. It would have been too obvious that I was getting screwed. Yeah, you can rethink this thing. You know, it's, it's not official yet. Phil? Hey, all right, we're leaving. Yours is coming up. It'll knock your eyes out. Mm-hmm. Gawain, you look like a big bull riding a skinny cowboy. <laughs> Save a motorcycle, ride a bull. Hey, give me some gas, sir. All right. Hi, what are you doing? Hey, I'm checking to make sure it's fresh. This stuff will go bad on you. Will it? Yeah. All right, look here. It's very simple, OK? Hey, you've got to give everything the smell test. Look, you always sniff gas, OK? No, I don't I don't sniff gas. No, look, you got to sniff it. You wouldn't pour yourself a bowl of cereal without checking the milk first. No wonder you used to crazy. You've been sniffing what? gas. Hey, you don't do that when you fill up? No. One time I smelled a gas so bad, it knocked me out. Y'all are nuts. Hey, bad gas, OK? Hey, I went down like a sack of potatoes, boys. So si, one day you're going to end up in your underwear, walk around out in the woods, trying to figure out who you hey, are. Hey, was you over the house yesterday? No. Well, hey, I was walking around in my underwear yesterday, checking something out on my land. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna sit around and we gonna race these things. Let's get it on. This race is a classic battle. Man versus beast. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be between Jace and Big Boy here. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Well, I guess in this case, it's man versus beast versus little girl. You're always calling me a girl. I'm out here on a bike. I'm out here on a bike. Who's the girl now? You are. You want to embarrass yourself? Yeah, there's butterflies on your helmet. Whatever. I'm here for funsies. Knock yourself out. Here's the road. Go around the trees, around the yard, back through here three times. Most important rule, if any of you knuckleheads knock my tee off, you get a swift kick in the butt. Let's race. All right. Gentlemen, start your engine. <laughs> Here comes the blind fleet. You don't have the power. Too much weight. Not enough engine. False flap. All right, look here. Goblin doesn't look half as bad as I thought. Geometry, Goblin, Goblin. It's physics. Hey, don't hit me. Watch where you're going. 
But Jeff, on the other hand, he looks twice as bad. Take a lap. Wallace has gained a little ground, boy. So the math works out. You can't win, Governor. Fly, please, on your turn. I am the walrus. Victory! Oh, come on. And the winner! <laughs> Consider the lesson. I'm impressed. The flying flea has been swatted. All right, you win. Let's go get the dehydrator and go make some jerky. Oh, yeah, the dehydrator. Hey, that's your second lap. You can go one more time. OK. Hey, uh, hey! <laughs> you turkey. All right, now we're talking. We got the dehydrator. Where in the crap have y'all been? We got in a motorcycle ready. Oh. I had to give these boys a geometry lesson. It's physics. Pick a number. Huh? Three. One, two, three. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I like your stuff. I got bored. Y'all been gone for four hours. OK. We got a little sidetrack in the pursuit of Galvin's dehydrator. You said that meat's any good? Huh? But we're one step closer to delicious deer jerky. Hold on. Oh, boy. This meat, on the other hand, it's drawing flies. Yeah, I'm in a lot of flies. Smells a little bit like my underwear. Is cause for concern. Got a fly problem. Hey. Bye. Shrapnel. He gone. Ha! What? I think he got <laughs> What'd you do, scare him? He didn't hey, even look, hit anything. Look, I ain't gonna hit the table. I'd break the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look here. I learned a lot from Steven Seagal, OK? These things are legal weapons. Are what? Legal weapons. Legal weapons? Yeah, they're not illegal. Hey, look here. These they're illegal. Hey, look here. There's nothing more American <laughs> than a man with a ponytail, <laughs> kicking butt with a pool stick, <laughs> and karate. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, look, I don't understand why Steven Seagal doesn't do more movies. I need a knife. You got a knife? Less talking, more cutting. Let's go. Right? Watch out. Let me cut some. Yeah. We are so close to the finish line, I can smell it. Si, you think your underwear smells bad. Smell this. Hey, hey, smell this. Get back, boy. On second thought, maybe that's not the finish line I'm smelling. I mean, this just stinks. Either way, I can't wait to get my hands on that jerky. This is going to be good. <laughs> you doggone right it is. Hey, it's all like Bill Tone. This is yours. Of course, this ought to bring back old memories. Look ah, right here. Ah, the fence. Remember when you marked this? Yeah. Knocked yourself out with your own post hole diggers. I remember. Which very few men have accomplished. I have some fond memories of the events that took place on this piece of property. Remember you got in the truck? We went up the road there at that little old church. I pulled over in front of all them old women. He just Bleh! right on the road in yeah. front of Yeah, you were laughing. I had a concussion. It's just not the kind of conduct you would expect out of a future CEO. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, the memories live on. I say that's a good inheritance. <whistles> uh, but they're all we can take. They're going to put a pipeline right down through this right away. There's a pipeline coming in? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I already worked out a deal with him. You can build on top of it? No, I wouldn't do that. Nice. Other than that, it's a beautiful piece of property, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's lovely. You get four sons, you say, well, where should Willie's piece of land be? That's why you're the CEO, you're the one who can handle that. Then you get to thinking right in the middle. A lot of fond memories. Jace gets a river running through it, and I get a pipeline. Keeping everything held together here. Old Will, right in that dead middle. Fun day, Dad. Can't wait to see the pipeline. What is that smell? That's just size underwear. No, it ain't. It's the beef jerky and hay. Let's check it. There's flies everywhere. <laughs> it looks right. Mm -mm. This jerky is going to be awesome. Ooh, it's kind of musty. That's worse than Willie's built home. You talking about tough? Yeah. Let's see right here. Uh oh. Okay, maybe edible. Okay, ain't no turn at all. Nope, that's a dog treat. It, it smells like a dog treat. That's pretty good. You like that? <laughs> pretty good. No. It's terrible. This has got a wang to it. No, boys, hey, that's gasoline. 
I know gas, okay? And this is bad gas. Good grief. What'd you clean this out with? Carburetor cleaner. Hmm. What? <laughs> That's never good. Well, if it tastes as bad as it smells, then y'all don't need to be eating it. You want mine? No. Look, y'all just take the company credit card and go buy some Jack Links. Deal. We've struck it rich. Look, clean this up. I'm locking up, guys. I'm gonna bring it to my dog, Lizzie. Hey, why ain't I got a company card? Hey, that's going in the complaint box. All right, y'all bow. Father, we thank you for your love, your goodness. I thank you, Father, for all my kids that you gave me, my four sons, through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 On any given day, you expect life to throw you some curveballs. Like Phil, taking me out on the land so he can tell me how much I won't be inheriting. Or when the guys blow off work to make jerky that smells like size underwear. It just goes to show you that life isn't always about living up to your expectations. It's the pleasant surprises that keep us coming back for more. Chase, the smell of your jerky is gonna make me vomit. Kinda like a pair of post hole diggers. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, it's slow. I ain't laid my eyeballs on a duck in the last two hours. Chip, I'm sorry. Number one, you should never have a cell phone in a blind. No. What are you doing? I'm reading about how to do AOE DPS on my um, priest. On your what? It's my character on a game. And they call it a priest? A priest. That seems kind of sacrilegious to me. Look, I love hunting with my family, but when it's kind of slow, they can get pretty annoying. He doesn't even have his gun. It's down here by me. Jeff, that's embarrassing. You know, I ain't killing nothing. They all start playing the blame game about why the ducks aren't coming in. That's why they ain't coming in, all that racket. You're violating a number of rules here, Jeff. Sometimes ducks just ain't flying, dudes. What are you playing? I'm not playing anything. I'm just reading about a game that I play. Wouldn't it be more funner to play it? Well, you gotta learn stuff as you play it. Jeff. You need to get a life, son. And sometimes I just want to catch up on World of Warcraft without anybody getting on my case. I can tell you what the problem is, besides Jeff being on his phone in Bizarro land. Mm. Problem is, we need a roof on the blind. Okay, okay. Here, we here we go, go I just boys. think that you would shoot more ducks if the ducks didn't see you. Trust me, putting a roof on the blind, it makes no difference. Here's the deal. Me and my dad have had a disagreement for years. I think we need to put roofs on our duck blinds. Give it up, Jason. He disagrees. We would shoot 10 times more ducks. Wrong. The thing is, when my dad thinks he knows something, it is nearly impossible to change his mind. When ducks come over, you go like this. And get close to the brush in front of you. And through the years, we have slaughtered ducks. The last time I remember my dad admitting he was wrong was right before he was baptized. What we need is a bird's eye view because these guys are delusional. Why don't you just get a drone? The things that drop bombs? No. Oh. You just fly it over, it has a 1080p camera on it, and you would see what a duck sees, and then you'd know what you look like. Where would you get a drone? The Department of Defense? Actually, I just bought one. Just then? Just then. On your phone? Yeah, it doesn't seem so stupid now, does it? No, I still think I'm stupid. Here's the plan. We get the drone, we send it over the top of the blind. If the drone can see human beings, I win and we build a roof. If it can't, you win. Hey, it's your money. It's actually my money, Dad. Hey, what's the difference? The other night I broke open that king cake, mm -hmm. first bite I chomped down on the baby. First bite. Not only did I almost die and chip my tooth. But you got to buy the next one. Yeah. Well, yo, lucky I ain't never found a baby in a king cake. Oh, you, I probably found it. You just swatted it and held it. Yeah. Well, I hear old Jim. He's got a grin on his face. I got it, boys. Dude, how awesome is this? Now, that's pretty cool. Dude. So, Jeff, how much did you pay for your little toy there? That. This isn't a toy. It's a state-of-the-art quadcopter, 1080p video, gambit control. This has got it all. How much did you pay for it? 
Look at the remote for this thing. To me, technology is scary. So that's what we're down to. Oh, yeah. There'll be a time when you can fly this to go get you some chips. Seriously? You know, the government tracking people and chips put in this and that and the other. They tell me they make these the size of honeybees. Huh? You know, the government spying on people. They got like a honeybee. It's, it's just like that, but it's just a little bitty thing. This is like a honeybee. Give it another 50 years the way it's going, and every fly you see on the wall is suspect at best. This is pretty sure that's illegal. Illegal? Ha! Huh. Is it the FBI? Is it the CIA? Or is it a house fly? Well, I'm gonna get away from it. That's where we headed. Forget all that. Y'all get in a blind, act like you're hunting. If we can easily see y'all, Operation Roof All the Blinds begins. All right, let's try it. You ready? Fire it up. What started off as an argument about whether our blinds need roofs has turned into a quest to prove Phil wrong. Whoa, got her on. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Now what? The chance to prove my dad wrong comes around about as often as a successful willy diet. Show to get low, low, low. Yeah, you're making me nervous. You want to shave and a haircut? Yep. I you ain't want playing, shave? Son. I just wish that Jeff had a clue of what we're on to here. Yo. Yo, 360. Yo, quit playing around. Yo. Send it up. Yo, are you not seeing us? That's, that's a 1080 right there. But this is the family I'm dealt. Jeff, go hard. Come on, get it up there. Yo. Here it comes. Where's that thing going? Where are you going? That way. Go. That thing's going out of sight. It's gone. Wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, lost signal. Where'd it go? We lost it. But I know one thing. What comes up? I wonder if it's got a parachute on it. What comes up? Let's go track it. Yeah, we got to find it. Oh, we got to find it. It's got my evidence. Objection, Your Honor. Good grief. What kind of DA would do that? Overruled. Hey, that ain't law and order. Si, we don't have time to watch the show. Hey, get out of the way. Si, let's go. Hey, sit down. There ain't but 30 minutes left. My Uncle Si has been out of commission lately because he tweaked his back. So today I'm taking him to the chiropractor so he can get back to work. The show's over. What are you doing? All right, let's go. Now, you may think it's weird to make your 67-year-old uncle go back to work, especially since Si doesn't really do anything anyway, but he's still on the payroll and he refuses to retire. This ain't no hangtown omelet. So I ain't gonna pay him just to sit around and stay home all day. This smells like a Denver to me. Also, that omelet, that's coming out of his paycheck. Si, let's go. Oh, before we hit the road, I need you to empty a sweet pea litter, litter box. I'm not doing that. Hey. You can do it after your bag gets fixed. Hey, he's gonna have to use it today, and he won't do it. If it's dirty, he will not do it. He'll crap in the middle of the floor. So I'm not touching Scoop it out, crap. and then we'll go. I'd do it, but hey, my back. All right, I'm gonna do it only because this whole house smells like crap. He needs to go on a diet. All right. Where's the scoop for this thing? Hey, it should be laying there right beside it. There's nothing laying there other than Well, hey, get one turns. out of the dishwasher. You have a scoop in the dishwasher? No, but hey, get a big spoon out of there. A spoon that you eat with? Yeah, a dishwasher is like 200 uh. degrees. That kills anything. Oh, I'm gonna hurt my back doing this crap. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <coughs> Done, let's go. <coughs> Ow! God, that's nasty. That ain't nasty. Ugh. Where are we going? 270 degrees. North by south. Wait. Huh? North by south? Wait, 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 wait. South, west. Normally, this would be the time that I would leave Jep to his own devices. Pun intended. We got about 103 meters, and we'll be there. How far is that? I don't know. How many yards is in a meter? However, if we don't find that footage, I may never get another opportunity to potentially prove my dad wrong 
This is going to take us right there. How sure are you? I am, I would say, 7.8. 7.8? Better than half. That's a decent score in diving. Now, I will get this footage. I don't care if we have to go to NASA. Not NASA. Where would we go? Uh, Del, you're making me nervous. I mean, I got a lot riding on this. No, we're going to find Melissa with this thing. You named it Melissa? Yes. You spend over $1,000 on something, you get to name it. And I named her Melissa. Melissa's my wife's name. <laughs> I thought her name was Missy. Melissa Louise Robertson. I named my hot tub Bubbles. 88 Jets, baby. All right. I got a signal, boys. Hang a left. I named my dog Todd. That dog was not $1,000. My back is killing me. Hey, how are you doing today? Just don't let him use that. Hey, that's a good bill. We're here for an appointment for Sal Robertson. All right, y'all would. Y'all can just have a seat in that first room right there. Do I need to take my clothes off now? No, no, hey, no, 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 look, no, no, no. I've got to be naked for him to examine me. Sal, so let the hey. doctor tell you what you're going to do. I wonder what this guy did for a living. Sal, that's not a real spine. Wait a minute, yeah, it is. The medical profession calls them cadavers. So I quit messing with stuff. So I, look, hey, oh, hey, was this piece? Good grief. Hey, Cy, si, I'm Dr. Mayfield. Hey. Uh, Willie? Doc, how you doing, man? Good. Uh, did, you, did you break my uh, spine, man? No, <laughs> we were just, uh, something was wrong with it. OK. It fixed up right, here. Well, no so. problem. I got some x-rays to go over and show you. We're going to put these up here. Now, I know it looks a little weird. I don't know if you've seen that before. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> So one of the discs right down here. It looked like a drunk. Cut it out. OK. For a medical practitioner who isn't a psychiatrist or a psychologist, I'd say Dr. Mayfield is handling size barrage of insanity pretty well. Can you kind of describe your pain? It's itchy, moist, mushy pain. OK. 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 okay. Most people would have just tucked tail and ran out of the room by now. But Dr. OK, okay. seems like he's a pretty good listener. What happened that might have caused some of this? I've done this in my sleep. OK. So OK. I was fighting 25 ninjas. 25 ninjas. Yeah. OK. Either that or OK is code for I stopped listening about five minutes ago. The good news is we can help you with this. We'll get you over to an exam room here. That's where I take my clothes off, right? Oh, my gosh. So we're good on there. We, we don't need to get you naked. OK? OK. All right, boys, we're getting warm. All I've seen is beer cans and tires. GPS says it's right here. It ain't here. Unless it buried in the ground. Right there. You know, if it came from a height, I've shot ducks so high that when they hit the ground, they embed in the actual ground. Or oh, in that tree. No, he's got a point. Right there. Ah, oh, that thing was right. Yes. Now, well, we get it. Well, hold it right there, and I'll get my boot. What are you doing? I'm going to throw my boot at it. No, don't throw your boot. Why not? Because you're going to break it. Look, I'm glad my family is here today helping me, but they don't have exactly the best history with helping me out with things. She's hurt. you got to ease her down gently. Oh, here, hit it with this. No, no hitting. When I was 10, they helped me go fishing. No, no, no take it. I ended up with a fish hook in my calf, which my dad took out with pliers. Why don't we just get our guns and shoot the branch? No. It's like all of their ideas are from Wile E. Coyote cartoons. Throw it down, let it go. Maybe it'll slingshot no, it. No slingshot. So you can see where I'm kind of worried about taking their help. I'll tell you what we do. We go get a ladder. We'll have to leave somebody here. I ain't staying. I ain't staying out here. Are you kidding? I'm lost. I don't even know where we're at. We're in a tight spot. What if you get on Godwin's shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll give you about two foot. <laughs> what if we put Godwin on your shoulders? <laughs> What if we took some vines? What do you think I'm built out of? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Look, I'm going to go into attack mode. I'm going to get like a squirrel, and I'm going to shimmy up this tree. Risking life and limb for my little brother's toy 
is really not something I'm into doing. Yep. All right. We don't need anything to happen to that footage. All right. If it falls out, just sacrifice yourself. Um. However, climbing this tree to prove my dad wrong is something I'm gonna go for. You're like a leopard. Watch him land. Look, it's already going down. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you got this. Come on. I can't imagine anything better than hearing my dad say, Jace, I was wrong. Hold on, hold on. Hey, I'm oh. doing a split here. Just a little further. Even if I have to break my leg to hear it. Keep going. I got it. Keep going. There we go. I got it. You got it? Wow. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, huh? got it. Whoa. Oh. One. Oh. Hold on. Two. Whoa. Three. Oh. That's all of it. <laughs> you want to go look at the footage? Yeah. yeah. Old Cy and Phil, they going to be put to shame. Okay, what I need you to do then is come and go face down for me on the table, side. and we're gonna get you adjusted here, all right? All right, Doc, let me tell you, the last time I went crappie fishing, I caught a pound and a half crappie and broke two ribs. You're gonna have to be gentle. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, if you just relax, and the more you relax, the easier this is on both of us, okay? Okay. Now, what I'm gonna have you do is kind of scoot down just a little bit for me, and I'm gonna... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, look, I come up here to get fixed, okay? Not to be snapped in half and then laughed at by fat man Willie Robertson. Now. We'll do that one more time right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's laughing now, but hey, one day he's gonna get old just like I am. Now, this is the one that kind of scares people sometimes, but you gotta relax. Oh, and look, he's carrying about an uh, extra hondo in pounds there, buddy. <laughs> one more. Whoa, you think I've got a bad hunchback? He's fixing to look like an upside down fish hook. Wow, okay, Doc, I feel like a new man here. Well, great, I thought we could help you out. Actually, my back's been hurting too, it's real stiff. That's not unusual in a middle aged man or anything, Willie. Um, Middle-aged man. Yeah, you're getting old. Uh, Middle-aged. No, my back is just kind of stiff. I probably stiff. heard it in the gym. <laughs> yeah. And it's in a low back? Yep. OK. I think I got something that might help you with that. I'm down for a try. We'll go on over here and get you hooked up. Has he got to take his clothes off? Uh, no, no son. Uh, <laughs> All right, so what are we doing here? So we're going to tilt you back and that's gonna help decompress your low back and give you some relief down there. Okay. okay. Let me make sure we got you locked in good. All right. All right. I'm gonna let you go slowly back. All right. You ready? All right, all right, hang on. All right, Willie. I'm gonna come back and check on you in a few minutes, okay? Okay. All right. Oh! All right, well, here's the choices you got for what you want me to read to you. We got 20 golf tips or a flyer on osmosis. What do you choose? Uh, golf tip it is, all right. Uh, and look, you know who this is by? Uh, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, Doc? Doc? All right, we're possibly changing the future of duck hunting as we know it. Are you excited? Just roll the tapes, son, crap. The video you are about to watch was shot from Jelp's drone. The drone formerly known as Melissa. What? You named it after me? No, Sweet Melissa, it's an Almond Brothers song. Well, wasn't Jessica an Almond Brothers song too? Almost ready. So what exactly are we looking for? We took Jelp's toy. It's not a toy. And we filmed a bird's eye view. So what everyone gets to do is to be a jury. And if the human beings are that noticeable, then we need a roof. We're at a pivotal moment in our family's history. I perhaps have garnered evidence that can make my dad say, yeah, I was wrong on that. Now, Phil? You can state your argument on blinds with roofs. Don't need them. That's Phil's position. Two to one. Maybe once a decade does somebody in my family look around and say, huh, I guess I was wrong on that. I just think you're going to do better if you have a roof. Because <laughs> I know this about my family. They're passionate and stubborn, even when they're clearly wrong. 
Because look, some people that we hunt with, I'm not gonna mention any names, some people actually feel like they're invisible. I am invisible. It's a little stupid exercise. What's gotten into him? He's got his back fixed. He's a new man. Sure they gonna see you. They're up in the air above you. Take your natural glycerin tablet to calm down. Which is why I brought my own set of impartial jurors to back me up. OK, we have action. So the Dirk is making a circle. So far, no visible human beings. He's looking. He's circling. There he goes. He says, I'm going to go in right there. There's the decoys. There's the decoys. No visible human beings. Nope. No visible nope. human beings. Nope. And look. Can't see us. Ah. Whoa, now. Whoa, whoa, Hello. whoa. Hello. Look at that. Hmm. Well, huh. what do you think? Yes. Well, I know I have some strong opinions, no doubt about that. However, I must say that I do know when I'm licked. Sorry, you had to admit, I didn't know we stood out like that. Good grief, that's the first time I've been sincerely mistaken in 50 years. And all because of the drone. Good night. That's a double whammy there. Look at Gawain. You know what is seen more than anything is the top of your head. I think the jury's fixed to come in on this, and Si, it don't look good. It look like me. We got a big roofing operation after seeing that. But the next question is, who's the poor soul that's going to end up building the 70 roofs? Me? I doubt it. All in favor of a roof. Raise your hand. They won me over. Si, you're in? Yeah. The jury's already out and come back in voted guilty. As the winner, though, I do recommend now we think about it while we eat. I mean, good cow. You smell like fried chicken? All right, everybody bow. Thank you, Father, for the one you sent. You have given us peace of mind and a deep love for one another. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 As you get older, it's easy to get set in your ways, especially for a family as stubborn as the Robertsons. You may have certain opinions that you've had for years, but while getting older may make you wiser, it doesn't always make you right. The truth is, sometimes you may need your opinion adjusted or your back adjusted. And even though it's not always pleasant, that's what family is there for, to help you get that quick adjustment that will change your perspective and even make you feel years younger, maybe too many years younger. Si, you shouldn't be lifting that. Oh, no. I'm a new man. Ah. Uh-oh. Meeting, family Come out, meeting. put the phones away. Phones up, <laughs> pay something. attention. We got big, yes. important family news. So we're throwing a little surprise party for Rowdy. Oh, I thought I did something bad. <laughs> no, you <laughs> didn't do you anything did bad. Because I was like, what did I do? That was no, yesterday. Not this time. No, this is about Rowdy and his official adoption day. So after like, we go to court and everything, we want to do a surprise party for him, and it's going to be like a blowout. Like all his favorite things. How are you going to pull that off? Dinosaurs don't exist. Yeah, or dragons. <laughs> in just a few days, Rowdy will officially become a Robertson. He's been in our family for a while now, and so we all feel like he's ours. But it's nice to actually have the last name on the birth certificate and everything. We just want to think of some ways to make it really special. Chicken, ice cream, Doritos, uh, Pokemon. Oh, yes. Is this your party or is this Rowdy's party? No, this is, this is Rowdy's party. <laughs> this is all his favorite things. He's not just joining our family, he's joining the greater Robertson family as a whole. So we figured we'd throw a big surprise party. We wanted everyone to get to celebrate with him on that special day. Maybe we could like write letters or something and read them. Read them to him at the party. I love that. Oh, that sounds awesome. That's an awesome idea. The only problem is we do not have a good track record for keeping secrets. We have too big a family. Like someone always spills the beans. So hopefully they can keep their mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. The main thing is don't tell him. Okay? Yes. Yeah. We've never pulled off surprise Sadie. Parties. Don't tell Rowdy. Bella. All right, mouth of the cell. Mom. Shh. I'm coming. Just a second. All right, so look. Make sure he doesn't find out. I got something big planned. What? What is it? Big. Dad. You do not know. I've got a huge surprise. What is it? What is it? I don't want to tell y'all. I want y'all to be surprised too. Give, give, give us some Hints. clues. I've got, I'm working on something. Like what? It's hard to put it in words, really. Hmm. It's more of a visual. You just need to see it. You have no clue what you're going to do. In fact, I better go make some phone calls about that, because I'm not sure exactly where. I'll be back. Don't let Ryan know. Cool. OK. 
Yeah, he's got no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh. What else, Cole? I think we're supposed to move this. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's do it on three. Let's see how heavy it is. Three. Uh, Put it back down. Oh, good. You found it? You OK? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just trying to figure out why Reed is moving out, and so is half of our furniture. Hand-me-downs. Well, get somebody else to move it. Why should I when this I have is... able-bodied men in my house? I'm just saying, I'm a little stiff today. What all have you been doing? I woke up. It's called age, Cole. I don't think I want to age. Oh, you're going <laughs> to age, buddy. Well, I can tell I'm getting older. Uh, I'm definitely losing some of my hair. And I'm hurting a lot. From this elbow to this shoulder, it's just numb. What? It used to be that Robertson's had selective hearing, but now you just can't hear anymore. Too many gun blasts. Yeah. I can't turn. So it's sore? Uh-huh. I feel great. You're 18. <laughs> of course you feel great. Maybe that's why I'm talking louder. I mean, when you get Phil and Si talking to each other, they're hollering at each other. Hey, what are you doing, Si? What are you doing? So why, why is everybody hollering? They can't hear. You know what would help you? What? A massage. You want to give me one? No. I mean, like, a medical massage. I get them all the time. At the spa? Yes. It could change your life. <laughs> Babe. That's something that yuppies do. I, I don't want to be seen walking in. So you're more worried about your image than your health? Yep. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> so on a scale from 1 to 10, once you had 12. this. 12. Maybe 12's not even on the scale. That's what I'm saying. I can't even measure it. That's how good it is. Oh, uh, no. You can take my appointment. I have one tomorrow. Hey, if you don't take the massage, I'll take it. <laughs> you're, I'm not giving you my appointment. I'm only giving it to your dad. All right, you're out. What if instead of you going to the spa, I'll have the masseuse come here to the house? That's a pretty good deal. Deal? The only way I would do it is if you stayed and watched. That's kind of weird, but whatever floats your boat. That floats my boat. That's a big I'm difference. I'm not staying on watching. OK, I'll have the spa come here. Are you going to stay here? Yes, I'll stay here. I'm saying. I don't want to, you know. OK, I need that moved. left alone with a strange woman. I need that moved. Uh, babe, call Reed. Tell him to come get this. Uh, you better not have brought me out here just to waste my time. I ain't got a lot of it. Look, I'm telling you, Rowdy will love this, OK? This will make his whole week. Si, I don't see a truck. Well, hey, I don't know where he's got it parked. I told you, Mountain Man knows the guy that knows this guy. Sure. This is all hinging on Mountain Man. Basically, yes. Oh, crap. Tomorrow is a huge day for Rowdy. He officially becomes a Robertson, and we're throwing a huge surprise party for him. Woo -woo. How's it going, guys? Mountain Man said y'all were coming over. Yep. I'm Si. This oh. is Willie. Good to meet uh, you guys. Where you got this thing? Right on out back here. Now, Si actually came up with a clever idea for one time in his life. Monster trucks. And it's a monster truck. Monster truck forever, Jack. It is a cool idea. Yeah, here we go. There they are, boys. What do you think? How could you beat that? Uh, it's, where's the truck? The monster's truck. It's just the tires? Just the tires, man. I apologize. We, we thought, we were kind of thinking there was a truck. This is 3 quarters of a monster truck right here. That's right. Found one more tire, then you got it. You got what? You got I've four got the monster truck. I don't want, what well, is a tire for a party? What's a monster truck without monster tires? Si, the party's tomorrow. We don't have time to build monster trucks. We need a monster truck. I think we need to talk money. Well, 100 bucks, what do you say? I'm now, not $100, paying. We ain't got but three of them, Carl. I'll tell you what I'll do. $150. I'll pay you right I'm now. I'm not paying anybody. Why are you paying us? I need somebody to haul these things off, man. So, now that's what I call a deal. Look, not only did I find a great gift for Rowdy's party, OK? Willie's actually going to make money on the deal. I'm telling you, he needs to be writing me a thank you card right now. No, we're not hauling him out of here. What are you talking about? You're going to turn this down? Who's impressed with the tire? 
Hey, look, so what if there's no truck? Look, let the kid use his imagination, OK? Look, you could put six kids in there and roll it down a hill. You'd get arrested for that. Look, all I had to play with when I was growing up was a rusty old fork. And look, me and that fork, hey, we conquered the whole world. Call. Hold him to the end of the day, and I'm going to talk to him, and I'll get back with you. You give me a call? Yeah, I'll give you a call. All hey, right. I'm looking forward to it. All right, man. Hey, I'm telling you, Roddy would we're love not, them three tires. We're taking a look at Roddy them. Roddy would love them, I'm telling you. you. Better hope the petting zoo hasn't already been booked. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, robe's got to come off. You told me to wear the robe. OK. Well, <laughs> what else do you have on? We're really doing this. We're doing it. Getting kind of awkward. So I put my head in that hole? Yes. Oh, wait, let's do something with this hair. Oh, no, wait a minute here. Oh. I, don't, I don't put my hair in. It's OK. Body. It's OK. No one at all is going to see it. Babe, hey. What? OK, sorry. Just That's just for me. <laughs> OK, so I finally got Jace to get a massage, but it had to be under his conditions. You don't want to do it alone. I'm going to watch. Great. Is this supposed to hurt? Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> you have got to have the strongest hands on the planet. I'm kind of glad you talked me into staying. This is uh, uh, quite memorable. Uh, I'm not sure why you're pressing this anyway. And I don't want you to be hurting for long. That That's it. Well, and there's a few more pieces of furniture I need moved. What am I, your grunt? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got that there, yeah, that. Can you do something about that? I am doing it now. Oh, man. Hello, Clarice. Oh, no. Hey, what do you got going on here? <laughs> uh, Is that Jace? Yes. <laughs> nice man bun, dude. What are you doing in my house? I'm bringing back your gun. Well. You may go now. So what What do we got going on here? You get a little massage? No, it's actually, she's a doctor. Is that why her shirt says massage therapist? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is just weird. What someone does in the privacy of their home is their business. Okay. But what someone does on their back porch for anybody who comes over to see, that's fair game for ridicule. What's next, dude? You gonna get your uh, pedicure done? Jep. Jep, come on. You gonna go to the gym next and do some aerobics? Jep. <laughs> aerobics. Go grab some brunch and do your aerobics. And hey, I might just be doing him a favor. It's a slippery slope from massages to shopping at L.O. Bean. Oh, my goodness. I like I'm in Bizarro World. Oh! Can you believe what she does? I can't believe what you're doing right now. But when you're greased up, that slope gets even slipperier. Jill, get out of my house. Go, go, go. Wait, you don't have any hair on your back, dude. I thought you were a Robertson. I, I don't have hair on my back. I'm going to tell you something right now. You'd need a whole bottle of lotion for me. Oh, Oh, my gosh. Jill, leave the gun. And take the cannoli. And get out of my house. All right, buddy. It looks like you're having a good time there, man. Shut up. You have fun, buddy. Idiot. You're so cute. He's just jealous. That's right. Just ignore him, babe. Oh, that's nice there. I don't know, have you ever trained someone to do this? No. I thought maybe you and Missy could kind of hook up and give her just the basics, you know? What? No! Oh, my goodness. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh. Yo. There is some slight discomfort right at first. Mm. Good night. She's poking her finger at you. Mm. But it gets better, and then it gets awesome. Oh! <laughs> Does that hurt? Her forearm's flexing on that one. That feels good. It's bliss. And Missy was OK with this. It was her idea. Mm. I don't know. This is sounding awful weird. Her hands are like meat hooks. My glasses are like fogging. I mean, she breaks you down. Ooh. She fitting to get you in the headlock. Choke him out. And then all of a sudden, she builds you back up. Oh. <laughs> Euphoria awaits. Whoever said ignorance is bliss has clearly never had a massage before. I mean, look, I couldn't even do this. Uh, now, look, I'm... Uh, is there a safe word? Sure, I could have just kept this to myself. But I find that when you find something great, you need to share it. 
Oh. Look, no pain. I'm like sweating profusely now. I feel like a new man. And it's all thanks to Missy, who's letting us borrow her appointment time. I sent her a text. I'm sure she'll be fine with it. A lot of gristle you gotta get through there to get down that muscle. Kinda bit. tingly. Just imagine what it feels like when she does your whole body. Mm-hmm. I mean, my calves right now, they feel like butter. I want butter calves. I want butter popcorn. Mm. This is making me hungry. All right, Godwin, time's up. Time's up. I think you went quick on the clock. No. I'm just glad she charges by the hour and not the square inch. There is a lot of me. Do you ever work on, like, the head area? Of course. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Was I right or was I right? All right, I, I'm done. He done. I'm out. <laughs> Babe? Oh. Did you get my text? I know they canceled because Anna is here. Jason Robertson, huh? you took my appointment? <laughs> I was wrong about the massage. Wait, wait, what did you say? Say that again? I, I, I didn't quite hear you. Mm -hmm. It's because you're getting old. You can't hear. I just want to hear those three little words. Look, I was wrong. You were right. You were mm, right. Thank you. But. Oh, no, you just ruined it. Tell your boys up there that they owe me one. Thank you, Missy. Thank you. We love you. You're the best. We owe you. It's still not worth the risk of going there. Maybe you could take a class. No. I mean, do they go to school for this? Yes. You need to go to that school. No. Thanks, babe. Love you. I think you have to No. I think that went well. She did call you Jason. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is true. It was totally worth it, bro. This is the best day of work ever. I want to go again. We're ready for this? Yep. It's gonna be officially official. Woo! Hey, excited? I'm excited. Hey, hey, hey. Casual. Hey, Welcome hey, to the How family. are you? Good to see Good you. Good to see you, Willie. Right. There's our man of the hour, baby. How are you? Y'all ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. Right, get up here. Go. Even though we adopted Will when he was five weeks old, this was the first time we have actually had this experience to go before the judge. Yeah, I was really nervous. Like, I didn't know what was gonna happen. A little fear of the unknown. Mm hmm I think this is a big day for everybody. I mean, it's a decision on his part, a decision on our part, and a decision that all of our kids had to be involved in, is saying, yes, like, we're gonna make this forever. It's special. It is. God has blessed you well and blessed us, so we're blessed to have you. Love you. Aww. Love you, too. <laughs> that was awesomeness. We did it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big hug. <laughs> Beware, right. Rowdy's giving hugs. Woo! OK, no. Yay! His oh. signature hugs, huh? <laughs> Rowdy, you want your paperwork, baby? Yes. <laughs> this is it. Congratulations. I'm in charge of this. Rowdy <laughs> Keith Robertson. Now I'm in charge of this. You're in charge of that? <laughs> Thank you, Rowdy. Thank, yeah. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Rowdy, give me one of those good hugs. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Officially Rowdy Robertson. That's awesome. Woo! Okay, I feel like you're walking towards the animal pens. I feel like you're okay. walking towards Maybe. the animal pens. Are you ready, Rowdy? I'm sure he can't hear that. Don't show him the unicorn. All right, are you ready? All right. All right. Whoa. Are you surprised? Yes. Yes. Come see your hand, everybody. Rowdy's reaction when the blindfold came off was the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. That smile could not have been bigger, and his eyes welled up with tears. Are you really surprised? Yes. It was obvious that it was an important moment for him. I mean, Rowdy, Rowdy has classic reactions about everything. So yeah, uh, Rowdy kind of has big emotions. Oh yeah, you know, he's up and down. You catch the right butterfly, you're gonna get an awesome reaction. <laughs> Rowdy! Ah, ah, Rowdy! Ah. The neat thing was it was a real embodiment of really what he was coming into with this giant family and uh, just people that you know love and care about him. I'm crying. <laughs> I think it, it said it all just that they showed up for him. All right. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, walk okay, right, right to that. Yeah, yeah. Is it a dinosaur? Probably a dinosaur. It is a Turn dinosaur. Around, look down. Look down. <gasps> it's a there turtle. A lot more. That is a that's tortoise. A, that's a dinosaur. You want to come see what else? Snakes. <gasps> There's a scorpion. Whoa! That's my first time to ever see a live crocodile. Wow. Its tail is so cool. Sorry, I got hold that snake. No. I ain't fell on no snake. I love snakes. Snakes are my favorite. Sorry, it's not poisonous. I don't care what it is. Sadie, look. Oh, I didn't know what I didn't know. It's nice. That. No, 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 I don't like snakes. Just go hold the snake for the party. I'm not holding a snake for the party. Mom, this is the biggest party I've ever been to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank y'all so much for coming. This is a really, really special day for our family. So we have one other little surprise for Rowdy. The siblings and cousins have written you a little note what it means to be a Robertson, because Rowdy is now officially Rowdy Robertson. <laughs> All right, Mia, you want to come read yours first? Okay. okay. It says, what it means to be a Robertson. Get ready for stinky bathrooms and farts. <laughs> <laughs> and that you always have another home on the street. Dear Rowdy, I'm so excited that you're officially part of the family. Welcome to the family, little bro. Being a Robertson is an adventure like no other. I'm so happy that you, Rowdy, are now a Robertson, and we are stuck together for life. There's a word that a lot of people know, and I'm sure you know it too, and it's called Ohana, and it means family. And family means no one is forgotten or left behind. Rowdy, we have kind of came from the same background. I don't think if I told you this, but my first dad died when I was your age. So sometimes sad things happen, but we don't really understand why. But just know that you can count on every single one of us. We will always be there for you. I'm excited for my future and a place where I can just be happy and have fun. It's always someone to play with. Yeah. Like, it's not lonely there. You're like yeah. on a team now. Yeah. You got a bigger team. Yeah. Even when I tell you that you're weird for loving dragons, Doritos, and Pokemon, know that I still love you very much. Love you, Rowdy Robertson. I love you, and our whole family loves you. And I love you very much. We got time to make up for, too, and I know you, you came with a good heart. So now you just get to grow on that beard. Why are you getting there? It's got a few sprigs. <laughs> little spriggles. We all love you, and we couldn't be happier that you're in our family. Welcome to the family, little bro. Welcome to the family, Roddy Soros. <laughs> Best day of my life. My dreams have come true. And I'm excited to be loved. Aw. <laughs> kind of hard to follow that. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. That's hard to follow up. Roddy, we are proud of you. And uh, what you will see on this earth is your family who loves you, all these people who came out to just to welcome you in the family like they've already done. And um, we're proud of you. And uh, we know God's got some big things in store for you. He, he wanted to start by saying, brush your teeth, OK? <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the little things and get to the big things later. So uh, we love you, and we're happy to welcome you into our family. All right, I think Willie's going to say a prayer. For All right, let's have a prayer. Father, we're so thankful for this day. Thank you for this group of family and friends. Thank you for Rowdy and him officially being a Robertson. We're just thankful that you brought him into our lives. Thank you for teaching us about adoption and how you adopted us. And through Jesus, amen. 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 The decision to add a child to your family ain't an easy one, no matter if it's your first or your fifth. But when it comes to adoption, it's a blessing to be able to provide not only a home, but a better opportunity for a child. And certainly with Rowdy, we're also fortunate to receive all the love and devotion that he provides for our family, and the extensive information he'll constantly give us on dinosaurs. Did you know that the Stegosaurus has the smallest brain for its body size? Well, thanks to Rowdy, you do now.